Tennessee Valley Radio, your concert station. Randy Rogers Band, one of my favorites, called Fuzzy. And it's going to be a great time Saturday night when Randy Rogers Band returns to Uvalde County for an acoustic show at House Pasture in Concan. Those tickets are on sale now at housepasture.com. And, of course, you can win them for free right here on UvaldeRadio.net. And uh, excited, getting us warmed up, getting us pumped up, primed up for the show. On the phone, Randy Rogers. <laughs> Welcome again. Uh- how you doing? You're a little more you're a little more pumped up to me. This is still early for me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 a morning show. You do all your rocking in the evening, man, and it's fine. So you you do your thing. I'll I'll, I'll just be your hype man. I'll be waving the white towel behind you. I like it. So so, Randy, man, I know you're. It's it's summertime. I know you had a busy uh, Memorial weekend. A lot going on. Uh, we're excited to have you back here in uh, in Uvalde County this Saturday for a special show. Before I get into that, I do want to um, just. Uh, Remind you, uh, thanks thanks again for the, the quick handshake and the photo op. We saw you at, um, back in March at the 2024 TRRMAs, and, uh, where you guys won Group of the Year and Album of the Year, so congrats on that. And we appreciate the moment you got, we got with you. Of course, always. Yeah, man, that's always a good party. Lots of, lots of people up there this year. Yeah, yeah, it was a good time, man. It was, it was fantastic. And uh, a, a lot of you... Uh, a lot of you big names were out there this year. You know, I mean, it's always it's always awesome, but um, a lot of the the really great uh, legends, the the living legends, I should say, uh, were all out there uh, in force this year. So again, congratulations on that. Uh, I know that um, you guys have been have been very busy since Homecoming came out a little over a year ago, I guess, maybe a year and a half ago. Uh, so yeah, let's get caught up. First of all, this Saturday night show in Uvalde, something special. You're doing an acoustic show, is that right? Yeah, I'm bringing our fiddle player, Brady Black, of course. Um, and, you know, Brady and I have been playing together over 20 years. And so, uh, it's like an acoustic show, but it still has the uh, energy and the spark of a, you know, a live setting of a full band, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's so fun to play these shows because there's really not a set list. And we, uh, you know, take requests and we play songs we don't normally play with the band and it keeps us on our toes. Uh, there's so many good things about it. Um, you can still dance and, you know, have a good time. Uh, I can still keep pretty good rhythm with my old right hand on the guitar. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's fun. You know, I, we've talked to over the years about how you, you know, you do different types of shows between Randy Rogers band full on and then the acoustic version. And then you got the Randy and Wade stuff. Um, so, you know, you, you're, there's a little bit of something that you do. Uh, do you like keeping it kind of fresh and having these different options as far as how you do your music? I mean, I think it's good for me, right? I think it's good for my skill, my talent, you know, uh, keeping me fresh. I played probably 4,000 shows in my life, right? So, wow. Um, I, I still love being on stage. And people always ask me, do you like the acoustic show better? Do you like the full band show better? You know, it's, it, it never changes, right? I mean, it's, I always love being up there. It's like people always ask me, it's like I play music for free, but I get paid to travel, you know? <laughs> That's awesome. What a great perspective. Well, we're excited to have it because as far as I know, this might be the first time you've done this particular uh, style of show in Con Can. Am I, am I correct? Yeah, you know, we'll be inside. So, you know, it'll be a, a nice environment of uh, intimacy if you'd like that. But I, I'm assuming it's going to get a little rowdy. <laughs> yeah. How can it not be? It's going to be a great time. Everybody party on the Frio River by day, and then Randy Rogers Band by night. It's going to be a great time. Again, those tickets are on sale now at housepasture.com, and the show is this Saturday. So we're looking forward to uh, that special acoustic set. Uh, again, like I said, I know you guys have been very, very busy. I know you had a couple of big shows, uh, probably Memorial Weekend. I was I was on your Facebook, and I saw there was a photo of a proposal that happened at one of your Memorial Weekend shows. Uh, was that a friend of yours? Was that just a random fan? You got any details that, that you can recall on that? Yeah, you know, we stayed down there in Palmia, uh, down there on the coast, Port Aransas, and one of the kids that works at the golf course uh, came up to me and, like, literally 15 minutes before the show, okay? <laughs> he didn't talk to me about this at all, and he's like, hey, I'm going to ask her to marry me. Uh, and I said, excuse me? Like, uh, are you, have you thought this out? What are you talking about? He's like, no, no, I've got my grandmother's ring. We've been together five years. I love her, you know, and I couldn't say no. I usually say no because I've had them run off stage and decline 
before, and so no. I was nervous for him. I, I was nervous for him, but it turned out okay, and, and they're definitely in love, and so I'm, I'm glad they shared that moment with us on stage. It's it's, it's so cute, isn't it, those youngsters? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how? but how crazy is that? that you almost have to step in as a marriage counselor, right? Before you can agree to do this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I try to talk him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's fantastic. Well, uh, I, I think it's so cool that people can make, you know, crazy, great memories at your shows. Are there any other crazy requests that you've had as far as on stage, uh, whether it's a proposal or some kind of, you know, or anything that stands out in your memory of all the, all the shows. Yeah, I played a few parties where they made me slap the bag. If you don't know what that is, you hold up a bag of wine and chug it. I mean, I think Jeffrey, one time at a frat party, uh, did a keg stand off the front of the stage. Wow. It's, uh, it's, it's been a wild ride, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's awesome. Again, we got Randy Rogers on the phone. The show is this Saturday at House Pasture in Concan. Now, uh, 2024, big year for you guys. I know you guys are celebrating the 20th anniversary of your second album. Um, how has that been going? Has there Have you guys been doing anything special uh, for that anniversary, which is coming up, I guess, in August? Yeah, so right? we remastered Roller Coaster, mm-hmm. and we're printing it on vinyl for the very first time and re-releasing it digitally remastered. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that record, Roller Coaster, is 20 years old. Yeah. I'm really excited about people hearing it. We didn't go back and redo any of the songs. We just took the tracks and cleaned them up and made them better. I didn't re-sing or anything like that. So it's the original album just in 2024 with a little bit of money behind it instead of 20, you know, 04 when we were broke. So, uh, you know, we cleaned it up. Made it a little bit shy out in August. Actually, on my birthday, August 23rd, uh, we're going to be up in New York uh, playing a show. And so, you know, just kind of celebrating that, you know, anniversary. I've been writing songs um, with lots of different folks, and we're going to get back in the studio and have new music. Wade Bowen and I just released um, tour dates for Hold My Beer and Watch This 2024, and we've got a new uh, Hold My Beer Volume 4 EP that's coming out with a new, brand new song called All I Want to Do is Drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what my year looks like. And uh, Yeah, just trucking, man. This is going to be a big big summer for us. East Coast, West Coast, Northwest, uh, Midwest, all over the country. Um, I'm going to probably hate my job come October and then fall <laughs> back in love with it about a week later. Um, you know, it's just... It's the grind, baby. People always ask me, when does the tour end? And I'm like, the, the tour never ends. <laughs> what you're talking about. I, I, again, I saw one of your recent Facebook posts and it said, hey, we're having so much fun, we added even more dates. I guess that's probably the story of your life. But hey, getting back to uh, the, the 20th anniversary reissue of Roller Coaster, what is that like um, as an artist, as a songwriter, to kind of break open that box of old, you know, of 20-year-old material? Um was it a little scary? Were you like, "Oh, wow"? Was it was? Were there cringy moments, or uh, did, was it, did you love it just as much as it was when it was brand new? I loved it just as much. Awesome. I mean, we went back and listened to the tracks that were unedited. So, like, there's banter in the studio between us, people telling jokes, people cutting up. We finished a song, and I'd be like, "Oh gosh, that was horrible. <laughs> Let's redo that." You know, I mean, just kind of goofy little memories that kind of came back and. It was a, a jog down memory lane. And, you know, I have so many artists come up to me and tell me that that's their, the record that got them started, that that record really changed the trajectory of their career. They started writing more songs. You know, they they tried to up their game. Um, they fell in love with music and decided to start playing music. You know, I'm just, that record I know has been around and, and really impacted a lot of people. And so it's just nice to kind of preserve it in this way. That's fantastic. Can't wait to get that. Definitely going to get that one on vinyl. Uh, any other plans for uh, future re-releases as these albums all kind of uh, come into their anniversary years? Is that something you guys feel like you're going to continue to do? I think we celebrate them. I think this is the only one that kind of needed it. I mean, we recorded this thing in like four days and put mm-hmm. it out. Like, we literally were riding around in a van and <laughs> broke and didn't have any money and didn't know what we were doing. So, you know, I just feel like this... This album needed that little bit of love. Yeah. 
Well, fantastic. We look forward to getting that. And uh, you mentioned busy year for 2024. If I'm not mistaken, August, some dates with Dirk Spentley. And then uh, I guess October, you got uh, on the road with Parker McCollum for a bit. Um, if if I'm not mistaken, some of these you'll be doing in an, you know, an opening act capacity. And I know you guys are used to headlining, uh, especially the Texas region. Um, what's it like getting out there and being uh, support? for these artists. Are you looking forward to that? Does it give you a little bit of a breather, a little time to kind of soak more more stuff in? Well, I think it's a, you know, it's a it's a business move, right? I mean, I want to get in front of young, a younger audience yeah. that maybe hadn't heard of us, you know, in Syracuse, New York, right? Or Guilford, New Hampshire. Or I'm sure you've seen some of the, the towns we're going to. Um, it's just nice to kind of re- refresh, right? Hit refresh. And, uh, you know, I've, I've, through my career, I've opened for almost everybody and so it's it's uh it's a, it's a role that i feel comfortable with i also feel like it's a role to uh you know remain relevant right i mean mm-hmm. you've i'm 45 years old you know i'm not over the hill yet or anything like that but i've, I've still got a ways to go i've still got music to create i've still got you know things to say and so just kind of reminding people that i'm still here and, and as well as gaining those new fans those new young parker fans is key. Yeah, fantastic. Well, you know, I I just kind of wonder if you especially enjoy them because maybe you get a shorter set, you get a little bit of backstage time. Uh, is is the overall, I guess, these overall experience a little um, less demanding? And you do, you, like I said, you get soak in more of the cities and and the crowds, or is it is it just the same um, hard hard work as a headlining gig? It's just as much work on our crew guys and a little bit less work on the guys on stage. I got you. Well, right on. Well, again, we're happy to have you guys back in Uvalde County. Again, the show is this Saturday, a very special acoustic performance by the Randy Rogers Band. Something you're not going to want to miss um, if you're out there listening. Uh, it's going to be something that's for, for the first time here in Uvalde County, so we're excited to, to have that. Um, Randy, we you know you talked about you know keeping it fresh and, and staying in front of newer um, audiences. As long as you've been doing this, do you find any new influences coming your way, whether it's newer artists or new sounds, or, or uh, are you pretty much... I hate to say set in your ways, but do you have your thing that works or do you find anything else kind of influencing the way you write currently? Uh, you know, I'm always listening. I mean, that, that new Sierra Pharrell girl, I've just kind of fallen in love with her music lately. Um, I'm always, I'm always listening, you know, tomorrow I'm riding with Tanner Ursi, um, young guy, you know, I'm always trying to recreate, reinvent. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I still listen. Well, right. Well, then, man, I think you got us pretty, uh, pretty caught up. Again, you got some new uh, Randy and Wade stuff coming up. We're always excited to hear that. Um, and will, will you be doing those? Did you say this summer some some dates with Wade? Yeah, all of July. We just released all those dates on our Instagram. Awesome. So you can go check it out where we're gonna be. Fantastic. All right, man. Well, again, the show is this Saturday. Everybody, uh, be sure and get those tickets at housepasture.com. And uh, we're excited to have you back in town. Any other late breaking news that we just got to get out there that, um, or uh, any, uh, you know, a- any exclusive information you want to give me? <laughs> I just woke up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hey, I'm grateful to get this out of you, man. I, I really appreciate you checking in and uh, getting us pumped up and, and ready for the show this Saturday. We look forward to seeing the live set. Uh, first of all, real quick before we go, how, how's the rest of the band? Any updates on any of their side projects that you're aware of? Yeah, everybody's good. That's why we're doing acoustic. Everybody's taking a little bit of time for their families, going on vacation and stuff. So, no, we're, everybody's perfect. Um, enjoying life, like I said, with summer's about to get crazy busy for us. So, uh, one of my guys is in Hawaii. Uh, one of my guys is down on the coast. Um, I just kind of gave everybody a break before the the storm, and you know I never stop working, so that's why you'll see me Saturday night on stage. Well, hopefully you get a break and you get to you know dip your toes in the Frio River at the very least, right? You will you will find me on the river. Trust me. <laughs> that's all we want to hear, man. Awesome. Well, uh, let's go and get it back into some music again. Randy Rogers from the Randy Rogers Band. Don't miss from Saturday. Uh, here's a song that recently went number one in Texas. I won't give up. Hey, Randy, what, what's this? How many number ones is this for you guys? Uh oh, you'd have to do some research. <laughs> right. I uh, <laughs> I write the song. Right on again. It's I will. Very, very thankful you play them. Hey, appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. I won't give up. Randy Rogers, man. This is your concert station, New Valley Radio. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate you. God bless you. Yes, we go.